In this video, we'll calculate the formal charge for each element here in HClO4. This is perchloric acid. So we'll start with a Lewis structure. And by calculating the formal charges, we'll be able to tell if this is the best or most favorable Lewis structure for HClO4. Let's look at the hydrogen here. Hydrogen with a single bond, that's always going to have a formal charge of zero. So we have a formal charge of zero for hydrogen. Let's start with the chlorine here in the center, Cl. On the periodic table, chlorine, group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons, unbonded. All of the electrons around the chlorine, they're involved in chemical bonds with oxygen atoms, so we don't have any unbonded. Then for the bonded, we have 4 plus 4 plus 4, that's 12 plus 2, 14 total unbonded valence electrons there. And we're going to divide that by 2, so we have 7 minus 7, 0. So this central chlorine atom has a formal charge of zero. For the oxygens, these three oxygens right here, they're identical. So let's just do one of those. Oxygen group 16, sometimes called 6A on the periodic table, six valence electrons, unbonded, two, four. So four unbonded electrons. And then bonded, we have this double bond between the chlorine and the oxygen. So two, four of those. 4 over 2. So we have 6 minus 4, that's 2 minus 2, 0 again. So the formal charge on these double bonded oxygens, each one of these is going to be 0. For this oxygen right here with the hydrogen, we still have 6 valence electrons because it's oxygen. And then unbonded, we have 2, 4. So we have minus 4 unbonded. And then bonded, we have 2 here and then two here. So four bonded again. So four, we divide it by two. And again, we add this up and get zero. So the formal charge on the oxygen here, that's zero as well. So since these are all zero, this really is the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for HClO4. So formal charges, they're very useful for determining if we have a really good Lewis structure. If we had put the double bond here instead of on one of the oxygens, our formal charges wouldn't be all zero. And then we'd know that we had a Lewis structure that needed a little bit of work. This is Dr. B with the formal charge for each element in HClO4, perchloric acid. Thanks for watching.